Hello, my name is Jarek. I'm from Poland, Legnica in Poland. I'm 35 years old. Uh, I'm an engineer, automation engineer. Uh, actually, um, job is my hobby, it's my passion. Um, actually, I'm running a company, Auro, which is standing for automation and robotics here in Legnica in Poland. I also have wife and three children. One and a half years ago, uh, I started to lose the hearing in my left ear. So I decided to go to the doctor. Uh, there was a diagnosis that uh, it, it could be caused because of the physical exercises, some missing oxygen in the, in the ear. And the doctor started uh, start treatment about my ear. But after some time, he decided uh, to give me uh, the CT scan of head, of head in case it could be some deeper problem. And uh, after the CT scan, I received my, uh, I received my, uh, my diagnosis that there's a tumor in my head. It was something about uh, 38 millimeters, just close to the brain stem bending it bending it. Uh, this tumor was connected with the um, hearing nerve. Uh, and that was the reason why I was starting losing uh, my ear, I guess, problem to hear with my left ear. On the beginning, uh, after the CT scan, obviously, I, I had many more uh, scans like uh, MRI, um, and I uh, consult with many, many doctors about my situation and they decided that there's no possibility on the beginning to use any uh, radiotherapy. Uh, on the beginning, we, they need to uh, um, actually, to, they need to make a surgery and cut, cut the brain out of, uh, cut the tumor out of the brain. Uh, and uh, to reduce its mass, uh, they cut it most of the uh, most of the tumor, but not everything. They decided to, um, to to keep it because they they wanted to provide me uh, actually all these functions, which which was uh, quite quite risky to, to to lose them, and also they they could not cut it out absolute uh, totally because of the uh, it was very very close on the brain stem and was pushing on it it was actually not possible also uh, so the surgery most of the tumor was cut it out um, and i was recovering a few months few months and after about uh, six months uh, after the surgery the MRI was uh, repeated and they decided to use another technique, uh, radiotherapy, to control the tumor. Not because it was starting to growing, uh, starting to growing. Uh, after uh, this uh, surgeon decided to, for, for the new, uh, new treatment, new kind of treatment, and this way i find out uh, with the doctor which find out the doctor which who uh, decided to use cyber knife for my my tumor to to control it to 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 stop it stop it growing i had a free session i had free sessions of cyber knife uh, actually I feel great uh, after after all of sessions. Uh, actually, it was hard to uh, say that anything happens to me, but it obviously did. Uh, so it was it was um, like not, not, not visible. I would I would say not, not no influence on my on my life. Uh, actually, the decision of cyber knife. Uh, I had long way to this hospital for this session sessions. We just uh, get into the car, long way session, and came back home. Obviously, I was with my wife, she was the driver. But I, I would say, I, I 
felt good enough to drive the car just after that. Uh, of course, I didn't knew if something gonna might happen, but I felt really, very really good after every session. Mm, that's that, that was uh, quite impressive for me. Um, so actually, there was no need to stop any activities. Uh, not stop before before the stop session, not just just after sessions. I actually uh, continue my hobbies, continue my work, continue my normal normal living, uh, and it it is very impressive for, for me. And uh, yeah, it, this was great. So uh, I will start how I discovered that the KUKA is working underneath the covers of, of, your, of, your, of your solution. Uh, because the, the, the robotic arm is, is hidden under the covers. So for the first, first time when I just came in uh, and I saw the, the whole, let's say, let's call it the Osiris Hibernate as a machine. I, when I saw the, the whole machine, I didn't knew it was KUKA on the beginning. Uh, I just came in because it was hidden under under the covers, uh, making its nice nice shape, nice uh, roar like industrial. Uh, but I saw on the on the wall the teach pendant, which which is using to program the the robot, and I oh I know now I know what it is. Uh, actually, I was happy that that uh, <laughs> the Kuka robot is there. It's going to uh, control the beam uh, going through my head. Um, so this is the way how I find out that the KUKA is uh, underneath your, in your solution, in CyberKnife solution. I knew that for CyberKnife, it is very important to precisely locate the beam uh, through the through the through the tumor, through the head to uh, to to. to to touch the tumor, but not touch any other important areas in head. And I knew that the KUKA positions itself precisely for sure. That's that's why I was happy. That was my experience from uh, my previous area, professional previous area. I must say that it is, it is a great solution. Before I, I had my problem with, with tumor, I didn't knew there's something like this exist. But now I know, and now I'm happy that there are there is something like this that can help, actually help control my life and help to live my life the way I want to live. Only taking me in case of problems, taking me few hours within a year or half year to to, to keep everything under control. That's that's I want people to know. I'm looking for good words for the tumor. It's 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 very hard. <laughs> hard the cybernas is very hard opponent for the tumor. I, I read a lot about the 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 power of the the radio beam and how it's controlled. Many paths crossing in one point where the tumor is destroying it per, per, perfectly. Uh, great solution so i want people to know, to, to know that that something like this exists in case they have the problem similar to mine and they don't know what to do